<laughs> well, yeah, I'm with Dave. Was this a top hit or something? Yeah. What year? Remember Christopher Cross? He did. Uh, the no, I remember Chris Arthur. Cross. They put their pants on backwards. <laughs> right. oh, no. Well, maybe a little later in the show, I'll pull four or five of his songs. We'll do a little. What uh, other? Well, what other hits did he have? He did the song "Sailing." Oh, it takes me uh, away to theme. where I want right. to be. Between the moon and New York City. Oh, my God. He did that, too? Yeah. All right. He did, um... Awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. You know what's funny, though? Like, I didn't know this. I did... It shows you, like, where where we've gone is, like, now when I'm, when I'm home and I'm watching games and, you know, you go through your channel guide because you need commercial break entertainment and... Normally, I'll go to NBA game night or NBA crunch time. Like So, like, last night watching the World Series, I would go to NBA crunch time and catch on, you know, all right, here's all the endings of all the big NBA games tonight. But, like, I saw there was a movie last night, a movie that I kind of liked. It's, like, a really dark movie, though, but I dig it. And immediately what pops in my head, yep, Sally wouldn't know this one. Like, that's how my mind works now. You should say earlier this morning, Roberto and I were in the studio over there, I pulled up my Spotify, and I went to some playlist, uh, classic rock songs, 80s, 90s. There's a bunch of stadium rock songs in there as well. And I kid you not, within at maximum. One note. Yeah, one note, one second, two seconds of the song, Roberto nailed every single one of them. Because and I had I had to have probably played at least 50 songs. Roberto's a savant, though. It was impressive. We need to do a growing up Sully, like, like a homeschooled kid from Utah. We need to do a Growing Up Sully movie edition. But, Roberto, we also played a lot of rock songs that I knew, though, that you guys didn't play. Uh, Plenty. <laughs> like, the one, the big ones you guys didn't play that I definitely would have got would yeah, be like, uh, like Bob O'Reilly or I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. <laughs> Stuff like that. I would have gotten that instantly. He knew, he knew Living on a Prayer. Yeah. yeah. Living on a Prayer, of course. Yeah, but, like, movie-wise, you're screwed. But, like, I'll give you an example. Like, Roberto, like, and I'm not saying it's some hit movie, but, like, do you like, like, dark movies? Like, movies that have, like, creepy characters, really sad storylines. You're like, oh, my. Not, I mean, I like true stuff. Oh. So, I don't know. All right. So, like, um, you don't like movies that feature characters that are tortured and flawed. Not tortured as in, like, like what, here. Hannibal Lecter? No, I mean tortured souls. Like, they, they, they <laughs> these things happen in their life that are just awful. Like and you... what? Give me an example. All right, so, like, uh, last night, Monsters Ball was on. Okay. All okay. right, Billy Bob That's Thornton. That's good. That's good. Now, I don't want to give away the movie, but this, this guy's life is horrific, and right. he's a horrific guy. Yeah. And you don't think it's going to end up okay for him, but somehow it does. Right. But it's terrible to watch. And Halle Berry's character. Awful. Poor woman went through hell and back. No, th those are the type of movies where the, the movie's over and you just find yourself sitting there yeah. just going, what, what, what's going, what am I to just watch? What, Although what, what? I did get the hankering for chocolate ice cream with a plastic spoon. Oh, <laughs> that's, it's, a, it's a line in the movie. Yeah. Don't worry, Sully, you're never going to watch it. Uh, the point is when I'm, when I'm well, finding my sports for the evening, because I like to line up the remote control, I like to have six or seven games to go between. So I don't have to watch commercials. And I'll usually throw in one movie just for a little sweet treat. But when I'm going through. <laughs> How many things are you watching? The, the bottom, the bottom, like the, 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 the TV, like bottom, when you queue up the, the last button, yeah. I think I've got eight slots, like eight things I can program. Yeah. So like on a college football Saturday, before the game started, like 1145, I'll pull up, okay, noon, and I'll go, ESPN, ESPN2, FS1, Fox, ABC, CBS, and then something from like Wacko Land, like Pac-12 or Jefferson Pilot or whatever. Some guy in Wyoming recording uh, Wyoming versus Boise State. And then you throw on Roadhouse. Right. And then, <laughs> yeah, like the eighth slot will be Roadhouse, Shawshank, yeah. uh, uh, you know, what, whatever movie. Like Big Lebowski's on all the time. All these movies. And you just, you got to have a movie in your back pocket. You know, some, somehow it came up yesterday. David showed me something on his phone that we, were, we started talking about coming to America. Oh, yeah. And I, and I asked oh. Sully, I go, I go, Sully, have you ever seen coming to America? He goes, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sully, if you've never been to McDowell's, you don't know what you're missing. But no, like, it, it's just one of those things. So when I go to set up the sports now, all, you know, because you pass all these movie channels. And you see it, and I'm going, 
automatically in my mind, it's like Sully. He don't know that. He won't know that. He won't know that. He might get that. He won't know that. He won't know that. It's horrifying. Shawshank Redemption, I've seen a ton. So well, I hope so. That. It's a fabulous movie. But again, you never watched all of Roadhouse. You uh, you asked me to before, so I did, yes. <laughs> Roadhouse is, is cinema theater. Wesley! What else would be on your list for it? You want him to watch, like, Predator? No, no. <laughs> I'm right here! Kill me! All right, no, like, in all seriousness, though, like, if there were five movies he has to watch, like, all right, Pulp Fiction, got to watch it. Okay, we're talking about, like, like really good, like, Pulp Fiction, Usual Suspects, Big Lebowski. Um, yeah, try to think of the movies where, like, there's so many one-liners in yeah, it that are like, used in, yeah. you know, everyday life. Uh, for example, Cocktail. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's so bad. Cocktails but, and Dreams. Right. It's on it's all the time. But you would watch it. Oh, but right? it's on all the time. Yeah, I watch it. What what is the what's the one where Tom Cruise shoots pool with uh Paul Newman? Oh. Uh, what is it? Not easy money. What's it called? Color of money. Color of money. There you go. And then if you really want to transition what mood you're in, you watch Color of Purple. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Has Sully ever seen the color purple? Do you know who's in the color purple? Do you know what it's about? Okay. Oprah's in it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah she, gets hit, she gets hit in the face with a rock. Yes. Yes. It's awful. Yeah. You, if you, you want a movie to just bum you out, Mike, okay. you really want to you cry yourself to sleep, watch the color purple. That sounds great. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, last night, great exam, Monster's Ball ain't no treat. Movie's horrifying. You'll probably turn it off in the first 20 minutes. How did we end up here? Yeah, we're going to get to other stuff. I'm sorry. It was just funny. I, flipping channels last night, and, and I saw that, and I go, he don't know this. And then you played that song to start the show, and I'm going, I don't know this. But you, I played it for her yesterday, and you were singing it. So yeah, but I, I didn't know who it was by. I go, it's all right. It's Caldwell. It's amazing. Oh, That would man. be in the, like, the genre of like yacht rock. Dad rock, soft rock. Like if, if Danny Tanner was listening oh, to rock right. and roll, that would be on the playlist. I love it. Yeah. we got. Are we going to set up a movie one, though? Yeah. You want to do it today? No, I don't want to. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to rush it. I, know. I want you to put week. it together. But, like, you know the kind of movies I'm talking about. Like, in the last, it, it's got to be stuff that's, like, 1987 to 2017. Because Sully won't know Godfather, and he won't know the stuff from the 70s. I took a films class in high school, so I had to watch a lot of those older movies. Um, so I've seen, you know, Full Metal Jacket or... Uh, but you've never seen... I've seen Casino, The Taxi One, all the, those ones, too. You've, but you've never seen Pulp Fiction? I don't think I have. You've no. never seen Big Lebowski? No. You've never seen Usual Suspects? No. Uh, I mean, you got... But I mean, yeah, but I mean, look at how many other... I mean, I've seen Rounders, I've seen... Uh, yeah, but hold on. Rounders, there's, there's tons of Rounders other ones I could is name not on the same cinematic plane as these other films. Now, I love Rounders. I love I'll always watch it. I mean, it's got, what's his name? John Turturro. Or what is, uh, what, what's his name? He plays Kanish. Yeah, John Turturro. Is it John Turturro? Yeah, okay. And, uh, Malkovich. <laughs> uh, right. Teddy KGB. Check. Check. <laughs> I've seen The Departed. I've seen Goodwill Hunting. I'm, now, I, see The Departed. I'm proud of you. That's a movie I wouldn't expect you to watch. So, I mean, the movies I, I feel more confident than the old music. Because that's not a happy movie. No. That's why I love it. I don't like happy movies. I like movies because life isn't always happy. Boy, this room got quiet when I said that. Is everything okay? <laughs> I, did. I know it's 35 degrees of raining out. Is everybody okay in there? You're just bumming everybody out, man. Yeah, well, here, you really want to be bu Well, you know what's funny? You want to be you want to be bummed out. Look look at one of the topics on our sheet. When it, like, the Astros win a title. When is the next time we're getting a title here? Pro professional teams. Life isn't always happy. Life ain't always happy. Somebody cue up Monsters Ball. Run it back. David, you've seen that movie. I'm not saying it. it's not some fabulous movie, but it's one of those dark films I like. I mean, early when when what happens to Billy Bob early in the movie? Oh man, you go! I hate this guy. 
Then it's like a redemption tour. Oh, it's good stuff. Sully will never watch it. I may as well give away the whole damn thing now. I, wa I watched Roadhouse when you told me to. Or you and, asked but me but to. you don't appreciate it. Do you understand? I appreciate. I know. I, it's and all this has nothing to do with the lack Patrick of Patrick Swayze respect. in sweatpants fighting everybody. <laughs> I appreciate the older movies. We're gonna be nice until it's time to not be nice. Who was the blind guitar player in Roadhouse? Jeff Healy. Okay. <laughs> you know, it was only until I met you I thought that was fake. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was fake. He's a real guy. I didn't know that. You told it to me two years ago. I went, wait, I'm going my whole life. I know every line in this movie. I thought that guy was just character acting. Yeah, he was a blind guitar player that played the guitar on his lap. Incredible. Incredible. His performance at the Double Deuce will live in infamy.